This is a quick video tutorial of the Rainbird ESP TM2 irrigation controller. This controller comes with the option of four, six, eight, or 12 stations, and it is designed for residential and commercial irrigation systems. What we'll do is go through the programming and operation of this irrigation controller, and also go through a few special features. When it's in the automatic position, it's ultimately gonna do what we intend it to do. Now this controller comes with three programs and up to four start times per program. In this case, what we'll do is program the irrigation controller to, to run and then ultimately go through some of the special features. To start out, we'll go to date and time. What we'll do is adjust this and then advance ultimately to the year if it ever comes out, plus and minus. The next setting is start time. Now this is when we want the irrigation system to come on. So what we'll do is get it programmed to come on at two o'clock in the morning. If we ever want to eliminate a start time, what we do is go in reverse back through 12 a.m. and ultimately turns off that start time. But in this case, what we'll do is get it set to come on at two o'clock in the morning. The next start programming is the amount of runtime per zone. So in this case, we'll just have a little two, two zone irrigation system. We'll put five minutes on zone one, and then ultimately go to zone two using the advance button, and put five minutes on zone two. Now, the next setting is what days we want it to water. Now, if there's a droplet underneath the day, it's gonna water on that day. But in this situation, what we want to do is every other day. So we'll turn Monday on. We'll go to Tuesday, hit the minus button to turn it off. Wednesday we want on. Thursday we'll hit the minus button. Friday we want on. And Saturday we'll hit the minus button to turn it off. Ultimately, plus turns the, the day back on. The next setting is sensor. And right now we want the sensor active. If we wanted to ever bypass it, what we do is just hit the minus button, and then it'll say sensor now disabled. But in this case, we want to have it active. The next setting is seasonal adjust. What that is, is we've got all the zones running at 100% of the times that we have set. If we get warmer temperatures, more sunlight, we can simply go and put 10% more time on each zone. So we go up to 110%, adding 10% more to that particular program, or in this case, all the programs. The next setting is manual station. That is a way to run through all the zones manually. So what we would do is ultimately put some time on it, go back up to automatic, or push hold the start, and that zone would turn on for X amount of time. The final position in the dial is ultimately in the off position and the irrigation controller will not run in the off position. Now some of the special features, if we go to the auto run position and we push and hold the um, advance and, uh, or excuse me, the, the left and right arrow button, the screen is ultimately, we're checking the screen and making sure everything is working properly. The next thing is if we go to uh, date and time and we push and hold the left and right arrow button. We can go to um, 12 hour or 24 hour, um, ultimately for, for the clock. In this case, we'll leave it at 12 hour. The next special feature, push and hold the left and right arrow button at the watering start time, and that would restore the program. The next special feature is under runtime. We'll push and hold the left and right arrow button what that does is allows us to turn off and on the master valve on a zone by zone basis. So for example, if the irrigation system has a master valve or has a pump start relay associated with it, you can turn off and on the master valve on a zone by zone basis. The next special feature in run days, we'll push and hold the left and right arrow button. That allows us to go to odd or even watering if watering restrictions were ever to be put in place. In this case, we'll go back to picking what days we want on and off. 
The next special feature is under sensor. We'll push and hold the left and right arrow button. And ultimately what that does is allows us to turn off and on the rain sensor on a zone by zone basis. So for example, if you have a zone that is underneath a canopy and you don't want that particular zone to shut off when the rain sensor is active, activated, that is where we would disengage the rain sensor on zone one. The next special feature is under seasonal adjust, we'll push and hold. What that does is completely clears the program. So now we just cleared out the program that we initially um, put in. The manual station position does not have any special features. When we're in the off position, we push and hold the right arrow. And what we can do is a delay on the zone or the zone to zone delay. If for example, you want one, two seconds in between, like for example, zone one to zone two. Now, the final special feature is ultimately that delay watering feature. Now this gets used often. Um, if you turn on an irrigation system and the yard is fairly wet and you want to delay, delay it, what you would do is put it in automatic, push and hold the plus button, and then put a delay on it for X number of days. And that would delay the irrigation system from starting for X number of days. That was a quick brief tutorial on how to run or operate the Rainbird ESP TM2. Thanks for watching.